Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. The SBC is finally here, guys, and it is time to start crafting. That is, if you're undertaking the massive grind that that Ronaldinho SBC does require. We're going to break down the SBC today in this video to start off a brand new week on a Monday. We're, we're ending the Goazo promo. We're looking ahead into maybe team of the season and all of that fear of team of the season the anticipation of it rather is starting to crash the market even more guys this market is beyond mudded there's something that happened yesterday that is honestly like historic for this game in terms of prices not moving when you actually thought that they would have so we're going to talk a lot about the menus today to start off this week on a monday if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new now before we talk about ronaldinho the big sbc that is sweeping across this game in terms of hype we got to talk about not one but two player picks that ea dropped I asked EA to surprise us. I didn't expect they would put out both the Encore Icon and the Encore Hero Player Picks. We have them both. It's nice to have options. We'll say it that way, right? The Encore Icon Player Pick is the exact same one that was expiring yesterday on Sunday. They basically just refreshed the SBC. 87, 87, 88 rated squads. Nothing too fancy there. The same icons are packable from it, and it's still a one of three. Now we go to the Hero Player Pick, which is basically also a one of three. UCL, Triple Threat, and fantasy heroes inside of it i like the fantasies are included it's also 88 plus it's repeatable twice which maybe kind of answers the question that i have about this sbc i'm surprised when i go and look at the foot bin upvotes and downvotes that this sbc is 57 percent upvoted for the hero player pick i mean personally speaking yes i know that it's cheaper it's only 85 86 87 to get done and the encore icon is more expensive but i don't know about you guys man i just think that the icon player picks this year are they just give you the chance of hitting something so much better than a hero player pick so i know the encore icon is more expensive i think i'm gonna do this one instead of doing the hero player pick but since the hero player pick is cheaper and you know you could pack some of those fantasies in there i totally understand why you would want to go ahead and send it uh but we also have the regular hero encore upgrade pack that is out that is a decent amount cheaper but of course has the bases in it so there is a plethora of upgrade packs right now in this game and it's going to bring us to a massive point that i think is astonishing about this the current state of this game to be completely honest it's just wild all these upgrades that are out right now but that's kind of it, right? I mean, let's be honest, guys. These, we know what's coming with these. The Encore Hero Player Pick is the newest one. This is definitely hype. Like, it's definitely draining coins from the market. Yesterday is was a massive day of coins being drained. Dino, the Encore Icon, and the Encore Hero. Coins were being drained, and the market felt it big time. Now, let's talk about the biggest SBC, the one that everybody's talking about, the craft, right? The craft, the grind on this game right now is going after Ronaldinho. Now, you might be like, Nate, what you talking about, bro? I'm not doing this SBC. It's too expensive. I agree with you. But, guys, we were kind of shouting this SBC definitely going to be 2 million coins plus. And I even tweeted out yesterday, I thought the SBC was going to be 2.2 mil. And that is actually coming in at the price of what it actually is. 18 squads for Dino. 490 rated squads inside of the SBC. Wow. Four of them. That's crazy. His card on the market is now 1.6 million coins. So you tell me if people are not doing this SBC because it's too expensive. I mean, guys, his price is down even further because the fact that he has an SBC out and it is a player like Ronaldinho, this is a one where the cost kind of just, especially if you're playing this game for the vibes and playing this game to have the most fun as you possibly can. And if Ronaldinho is a player that you would have never dreamt to have packed or somebody that you have never dreamt of using, but now you have the opportunity to use, this is the SBC that you just do because it's Ronaldinho. It's kind of, again, comparable to like a player of the month Mbappe or something like that, where it's a player of such a high caliber and such, I know people use the word aura a lot, right? such aura um, that and nostalgia as well that you just kind of have to get it done. And that is what this SBC is here for. This SBC is not here for good value. This SBC is not here even for the most meta player in the game. I'll say it that way. 
it's still Ronaldinho, guys, but he only has Trickster Plus, which, like, that's the second worst playstyle plus in the game behind Flair, in my opinion. But he's got Trivella, he's got Technical, and it's just Ronaldinho. He's 5-star, 4-star. He's Dino. He's got the Dino body type in game. He's got the ponytail. He's got whatever you want, whatever you need out of Ronaldinho. He's got it, right? That's why this SBC has so much hype, even though it is coming in at a mean 600,000 coins above market value. Now, here's the thing. I have news. This Ronaldinho card is going to get cheaper than ever. So right now, if you're like me and you're like, Nate, there are so many SBCs out. I don't know what to craft, but I got to craft something because I'm running out of fodder, which is how I feel. If I really want to use Dino with my coin balance, I might just go buy the card because he's going to, you know, take a lot less if you just go buy the card if you have those coins. Now, if you don't have the coins, but you have time and you have the desire to grind, there's really... There's not very many times better than right now to go and craft a Dino with all the upgrade packs that are out, with all the packs and objectives that are out as well. And I hate to mention it, but the store packs as well, all the fodder that is available there, even if you're opening with coins, which I don't recommend doing because that drains your club a lot of coins. Like there is fodder everywhere in this game. And once again, that is why the Dino SBC is priced where it is, right? 2.2 million coins. It's only 14% upvoted. But I think a lot more people are doing it than the 14% would suggest because people see Ronaldinho and they complete. So I think that lays it out perfectly. And we kind of started talking about the Dino SBC if, before it was dropped. It was officially, again, leaked yesterday before content finally, but we kind of knew that it was coming beforehand. So, And the, the position that I'm in right now, as I mentioned, is... Guys, I don't know what to craft. Like, I just did an SBC here. We're going to open a player pick here in a second uh, because I had the first squad completed. It's the 88-plus campaign player pick, right? I've got so many high rateds in my club because I have not been kind of chasing, crafting, like making an SBC recently. And I feel like I want something to kind of grind and craft towards, but I don't know where to set my sights. I don't know where to... Basically, commit is where I'm being honest. You've got Ribery, you've got Mia Ham, you've got Carlos, Socrates, even Yashin is still decent. Uh, and now, especially with the Ronaldinho card, you've got so many opportunities to sink your fodder into something. Now, the thing for me is if I'm doing Ronaldinho, then if I'm doing a squad uh, or an SBC with 18 squads, I'm going to feel like I have to use this guy in my team for a long time if I'm putting that much work into the card, right? The last big SBC of like a ton of amount of squads that I did was probably player of the month Mbappe. And it just felt like it was a long grind. Yes, he was in my team for hundreds and hundreds of game games. So it made it worth it. Now, for me, I'm not sure where to go with this because I packed Ronaldinho Prime last year and he was so fun to use. Like, when I mean so fun, like, he was insane. He's He plays better than his stats, as people always say. Like, he was starting above some of the cards that I got in, like, footies. And at the end of team of the season, I packed this Dino and he was making it into my team. Now, this year with Playstyle Pluses, I think I really value those Playstyle Pluses. So maybe he doesn't get into the team, but it's still a card that I have not used this year. And I would have only dreamt of using. But same thing for Mia Ham. So, being from the USA, I have a tough choice to make. I really do want to do Mia Ham because I hear her card is absolutely freaking nuts. And uh, I used Dino last year, so I might go for Mia Ham this year just because she's brand new, haven't used her card at all, and I hear she's insane. And maybe a little bit cheaper than Dino would help uh, myself out in that category as well. So I feel like a lot of you guys might be in the same situation, though. And the other thing I would tell you is be careful with how much you craft and be careful with your fodder right now. Because EA's whole goal of dropping all of these SBCs right now at this moment is is to, yes, number one, put a bunch of SBCs out that can be crafted during Team of the Season, the upcoming promo, but that's just the thing. Don't spend too many coins specifically. You can spend all the fodder you want because fodder is like limitless and endless on this game, especially, you know, through objectives and everything, right? 80 plus player picks, 81 plus player picks, all that, 84 sevens, it's endless. You can spend the fodder, but just be careful with your coins because this is a place where you could get in trouble before one of the biggest promos of the year if you're submitting too many coins and buying too many cards and lowering your club's worth by buying players off the market to put into SBCs, which give you untradeable cards out of it, you're going to devalue your club before a time of the year where you're going to want to have fodder, which is the team of the season. You're going to want to have fodder, guys. I know that's two weeks away or something like that, but it is worth saying because being a little bit more stingy, if you will, and careful right now will help you loads during Team of the Season when cards maybe are going to be coming out with not one, not two, but three 
playstyle pluses, and that's going to change the game all over once again. So that is one thing I have to mention. Um, and I want to open this 88 plus campaign player pick as well right now because I had one squad done of this. Ooh. Oh. Lauren James or Geese. Oh, okay. What's the skill move weak foot here? Four, five. This card looks insane after its latest boost. Power shot, dead ball plus, whipped pass, technical, 91 rated. Lauren James has got the skills. Oh, I never used Lauren James when she was out during the beginning of the Future Stars promo. I think I'm going to go with Geese here. Um, they both look like really good cards, but Geese is definitely clear in terms of market value. She is 450k. Wow. All right, I'm going to go with Geese. I don't even know if she's still live or not, but I'm going to go with that card uh, because that card looks cracked. Lauren James looks good as well. Uh, you know what? While we're here, let's open 84 times 7. This is one of my 84 7s from um, Saturday. I never even opened it. I left it there. Is this Lavelle? Remember when Lavelle was like in everybody's packs because of foot birthday? I wish this was a foot birthday Lavelle. That would be higher rated, but unfortunately it is not. It is 87, only one walkout, and the rest 84s. Okay, that's it for the packs for right now. Let's get back to business because there's a lot more to discuss. Guys, yesterday with Ronaldinho and all of the hero and the uh, icon player picks that were dropped, you would have thought, oh, wow, that's a lot of SBC demand, right? I'm sure prices are crashing on the market, and I'm sure fodder is going up, right? You'd only be halfway correct in that statement. That's how it normally works. Prices crash. People are going and buying cards to buy fodder to do these SBCs, which brings fodder prices up and the rest of the market down. Fodder has barely even moved. This market is so cooked that fodder on a day where a Ronaldinho an icon any hero player pick all release fodder literally didn't move i know they're running the lightning rounds but that's not it like that is not it everybody just has this stuff and i say it doesn't it didn't move and then i look at luka modric's graph and he went from 9k to 10k but he's back down at 9500 to me like fodder moving is like remember when 88s earlier earlier on in the year went from like you know a couple times it went from 17k up to about 20 we had a couple crazy spikes at different points of the year um, even for like the higher rated cards, like 89s. Remember when 89s went from like 30K and they used to be like 30,000 coins. Then they go up to like 38K. 30,000 to 38K. That's what I call a swing or a fluctuation in terms of a fodder price. From 9K to 10K on 87, that's not really fodder moving. That's a very small movement for all of the demand that we had via the SBCs yesterday. I even look at 90s. There's still 25,000 coins. I look at 91s. I bought some KDBs for 30 33,000 coins and the bro is only 35,000 coins after a Dino got released with four 90 rated squads. It is crazy how little fodder goes up on this game anymore because of how supplied it is and how many in terms of the quantity of those higher rated cards that we have. If you take a look at some of the cheapest 88 and above rated cards in the game, it's all promo cards. Little bro Harry Kewell, little bro Robbie Keane. They are some of the cheapest cards on this game right now for their rating because they're just so supplied. It's It has to do with the promos that we're in right now for sure, but it also just has to do with how many packs are being released and at the astonishing rate that they continue to be released and how accessible fodder is to us untradeable. All of those things combined and put together just makes fodder on this market kind of like uninvestable. Like I know that I invested in, I told you guys, right? I showed you my trance list on Friday night, I think it was. I bought some Kevin De Bruyne's at like 33K, but I'm glad that I didn't buy too many. I will lazy list these KDBs up for maybe like 38, 39,000 coins. And I'll hope that he rises a little bit as people get the DMSBC done and maybe crafting over the next couple of days. But guys, just taking a step back and looking at how many freaking SBCs are here in this game with upgrade packs and player picks. And then of course, all the icons, you would expect fodder to be to the moon right now. But EA have found a magical concoction with supplying fodder so much that it doesn't go up on this game when all of this demand is also there to seemingly offset the supply. There is still so much supply that it is giving out all the time. It just doesn't move. So I had to point that out because it's just honestly insane. Like investing in fodder really has not been a good play except for team of the weeks. That's the only caveat. Team of the weeks have been really good to invest in at multiple points this year. But besides those, fodder has not been very good to invest in post team of the year, to be completely honest. Free team of the year. We're going to have to remember all this stuff for next year in FC25. I can't imagine the game being a whole lot different. Fodder will be great first half of the year. Second half of the year, 
absolute cheeks. So that's something to kind of just remember. And maybe even during the team of the season, I bet during team of the season, fodder does do better. I'll, I will say that I bet fodder does better during tots because during the big promos this year, think back to the Thunderstruck promo, think to team of the year, like fodder did go up. Team of the year fodder was the highest that it had been like all year. Remember 89s, like 40 something thousand coins. It's going to happen again during team of the season. Some of this fodder is probably going to go up because there's going to be a lot of hype on the game, a lot of people on the game, and a lot of SBCs to be crafting. So that's something to watch in the next couple of weeks. But for right now, fodder is mudded. It's low, and it's probably going to stay low, especially because they keep running all the big store packs. Now, the other part of the market that's being impacted is people are still selling cards to go either try the new stuff that is out, aka the Golazos, or selling cards to go afford to buy that fodder that they need to complete the SBCs. And we talked about the market crashing in yesterday's video as well. It's down even more. I mean, who's surprised though with all the content that we had yesterday? I still cannot believe that this card is 300,000 coins. It amazes me. He's just supplied so much on the market, right? It's crazy. Um, Park Ji Sung, 400. I just bought him for 450K. This Jarzino card is 3.5 mil. Carlos, 606K. And with these prices being as cheap as they are, and also with the kind of rumors and the tweets, like this tweet right here talking about Team of the Season content starting next week, like that is getting people thinking about Team of the Season more and more and more, which is in, in the flip side of things, making people want to buy cards off the market less and less and less, which means you have less demand, less cards going to these sorts of coins, uh, less coins going to these sorts of cards. I said that backwards. And people just saying, yo, I'm going to stick with my untradeable side for now. I'm not going to buy. So prices continue to tank. Here's an example of people panic selling for team of the season. VVD, 12.4 mil, down 4 million coins in one day. Hate to be the guy that had him here and sold him here. That's a tough look, right? He's down to 8 million coins, guys. And this guy was extinct at 16, or sorry, 15 mil for basically half the entire time that he has been out in packs. It's not even just team of the years. Look at this Phil Foden, 750K. Phil Foden yesterday was 977,000 coins. It is a total complete market reset and it's still going on. This Salah card was one point, or sorry, he was 3.5 mil just a couple of days ago. He's down horrendous. This De Young was a million. I mean, right now on this game, guys, I would be very, very careful buying any cards I'd be very, very careful buying anything, especially if it's more of an expensive, more of a top tier card. You're still going to be able to make quick flips. You're still going to be able to trade with some of these cards that are down bad. But for the most part, the middle to top tier of the market is just going to continue to be cooked and you'll be able to get sales, but it'll be tougher because more and more people are looking in different areas. Now, as I say this, I'm literally bidding on a Darwin Nunez Road to the Final card because this is a live item, right? And live items still potential to upgrade. They're still hyped there. Now, I'm going to try to not lose this bid here while we're on the video because this Darwin Nunez is usually around 1.3 million coins. I bet he dropped off some yesterday. How low did he go? 1.26. Okay, we're going to slap a bid on here. Hopefully it works out. One two one one seven seven. But I'm not gonna sit on this whole video and bid. I'll just uh, I'll bid up to like one point one nine. Okay, this is actually you know what one point two. I'm comfortable paying one two. That's a live card. I mean. Yeah, the United game yesterday, they didn't get three points. But, you know, there's Europa League, there's Conference League, and, of course, Champions League this week. So that's something to watch out with. There's cards there that could have some positive movements. I think I can sell this for, like, 1.35, which is why I'm paying all the way up to 1.2. Am I going to win that? All right, this is my final offer here. 1.207, no frills attached. That's my final offer. Take it or leave it on the market. All right, so be careful with what you're trading with. Here's a good tip. I got outbid. I love that. Here's a good tip, guys. Trade with the lower budget stuff. This Robbie Keane card, 39. I don't know why this guy's 39,000 coins. This might be one of the best, most hype budget strikers. First card for him on the entire year. Um, and is this incredible, statistically boosted Premier League linking Robbie Keane. And he's only 40,000 coins. It's crazy. I'm going to try to trade with the lower tier of stuff in the next couple of days just until I get a feel or more so of a feel for the market. This guy's 40,000, man. I picked up a couple of him on Snipe for 39 because I was like, yeah, that's too cheap. Um, like, can I get this one here for like 30, 38, 750? I would drop the bid, walk away, hopefully win the card. 36K, 37K, like 
that's the type of stuff that I'll be trading with a little bit more is the lower tier, lower budget, because I think you'll have the more opportunity for sales there and you'll have less uh, coin losses because obviously the cards are just a lot cheaper. You're not going to lose as much on tax, even with the cards, probably like they will drop a little bit. You're not going to lose as much because it's only a 40 K card versus somebody who is, you know, millions and millions of coins. So I don't win that Darwin Nunez, but that is okay. We will live to see another day and we will live to flip another Darwin Nunez. I did buy some Harry Cools. and we're talking about Golasso cards, man, these cards dropped off so much yesterday. I think they dropped off a bit too much. Um, this Desai card, I almost promised myself that I would buy a Desai and he's now 300,000 coins, like basically flat. Uh, Park Ji Sung is 460. I bought one at 450. So like, you know, last Monday, these Golasso icons from team one did very, very good. I'm hoping that team two can do decent today too. I'm not expecting it though. Like this SIE seems way too cheap. I'm probably only going to buy a one or two though. I have a bunch of Harry Cools that I bought under 200,000 coins. And he's like 220K. So I'm probably just going to maybe snag one or two of these if I can for like 305 and then we'll just risk it there um some of the rest of this team could bounce back up a bit today park g sung Vidich, roberto carlos dda drogba cordoba there are there's a lot of people that want to try out these cards and especially because they're really cheap so that's something to kind of keep an eye on as we head into monday today as well but let's stop talking market for a second let's talk content content today on monday how is ea going to let us start off the week well uh the world today is starting us off with a uh total solar eclipse so that's going to be fun um i'm in like the path of totality or something like that so yeah the stream might end a little bit early today so i can go outside and, and look up at the sun and, and see something that is only going to happen in the next 400 years one more time or something like that so um yeah that's pretty cool but that's not any sort of ea content that's just something i thought of and i'm wearing glasses at the moment and my mind is all over the place because I'm tired and it's time to go to bed. Anyways, let's talk about Monday contents coming today. Um, we really don't have any leaks and I'm still completely fine with that. I'm fine for a little bit of a surprise situation. There's only one player that has been talked about and mentioned that hasn't been dropped. And that is Nakata. And we have no Nakata yet here in this game. So I don't know where he's going to drop. I'm a guessing it would be an SBC. And I'm also guessing that it could be today or tomorrow. If I had to guess, that's when it would be. So I'll be watching out for that. We still haven't seen him yet. He wasn't in the mini release. So that's a question mark that I have. But Mondays haven't been that crazy recently. I don't think there's any SBCs expiring today except for our beloved 81 plus player pick. Now, EA, there's been some surprises recently, okay? Don't surprise us with this one. Please release the 80 plus player pick, right? We had the 80 and the 81 plus. They've been overlapping. They've been flip-flopping basically every single week. Hit us with that 80 plus. Get us back with the only six golds required, all right? We have the 81 plus double upgrade that is out, but still that is not 100% good enough. We need, yes, it is a need, not a want. It is a need, the 80 plus player pick to continue the crafting as good as it is on this game. If they don't bring back an 80 or 81 plus player pick today, guys, it's actually going to be painful. It's going to hurt the menu crafting a lot. So we need that 100%. Um, to keep the crafting up on this game. The crafting upgrade, I just don't think it's it for me, man. I'm not going to be able to get 150 of those done in a couple of days anyway. And the 81 double just requires too many players for it to be worth it compared to the player pick. So that's just my take there. But I hope the 80 plus is re-released uh, today, kind of as they've been doing every single Monday. And then other than that, it's just going to be a refresh day, right? Uh, the refresh of the 84 times 7. I don't know if there's anything else that's refreshing today. The campaign pick maybe refreshes that I just saw there. It goes away tomorrow. Um, but I would expect potentially a player SBC today. And then the 80 plus player picks returning. Maybe an, an Evo. Um, I don't know if there's any Evos that are expiring today. But since we've already had a couple of Evos, we had the Atomic Ace, of course. Uh, let's see, are there any evos that are expiring that I need to get done? Four days, four days. Okay, so we have a couple more days left on some of these ultimate birthday evos, which I really need to start working on Alessandrini here to get that done. So maybe it's a good day today to finish off your champs, work on some evos, and of course, craft through the menus. I forgot to mention the store. Guys, there was even more crazy store packs that were dropped yesterday. Since I opened the 350k pack, I don't think I'm going to spend any more coins in the store, man. Just to be completely honest, I got to, again, as I said before, we got to be careful. It's kind of that balance. Got to find the balance between how many coins do you want to spend right now and have fun right now with this promo that is definitely fun. 
But at the same time, also think about what is upcoming with team of the season and be like, okay, I need to reserve some of my coins for what is upcoming. So find that balance with whatever you're trying to craft right now. If you're doing Ronaldinho and if you're like deciding to do that or Cantonelle or any of the other SBCs that route, that's fine and dandy. Go ahead and do it. I know that's giving some people some motivation that they have not had in a while to play this game and to grind the menus. Like they they found some motivation with these SBCs being out and that's amazing and that's great. But again, just kind of try to also put things in a perspective about what is upcoming and with team of the season and hopefully we get some more news there's already been some packs that are added to the code we're going to start talking about team of the season a lot more in the coming days on the videos and stuff like that as we get closer and closer to it the hype is going to start building up it's already stirring that's one way to say it the hype is already starting to stir on this game for sure so uh, we will be there for sure for team of the season but for right now it's a good time to craft good time to try to pack icons and uh, heroes in this Golasso team too. I'm not saving any packs. If you want to start saving, go ahead, be my guest. But uh, for me right now, I am not going to save because I do think that right now I will probably start getting started on the Mia Ham SBC. I think I've talked myself into that um, just for the vibes. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that. I need those 80 plus player picks to return today and I got to hit my 84 times sevens. But I will see you guys on the Twitch stream today. Technical difficulty solved. I was having an issue with the camera. Um, I actually put my standing desk up in one of the streams earlier last week and I bent a USB stick that was in the back of my computer. But that has now been replaced and it is fixed. So we are good to go firing in all cyl cylinders. Crispy camera quality um as always so anyways guys i'm yapping now have a great monday i will see you guys in the, in the twitch stream today that link is down below in the description i will catch you guys there if you like the video thumbs up subscribe comment down below if you have any questions as always and i'll see you guys in the stream today it's nathan for the catch you guys there peace